Hi friends and welcome back. In today's class, we want to discuss Python's assignment operators. The chief assignment operator is the quality sign we know. So if I write the expression x is equal to 2, it is said that I assigned the value 2 onto the variable x. Okay? So if I go ahead and print x to the screen, you will see that x actually holds the value 2. Now to increment x by 10, I can write this expression x is equal to x plus 10. And when I hit enter, nothing happens. If I print x to the screen again, you see that x now holds the value 12. So at this point, I incremented x by 10 and assigned it onto x again. But Python offers a number of other interesting assignment operators that can perform calculations during the assignment process. To illustrate this, I will make another variable assignment. Y, I will assign the value 5 onto Y. And like we did before, if I go ahead and print Y to the screen, you will find out that Y actually holds the value 5. Now, if I write this expression, Y plus equal to 5 and i go ahead and print y to the screen again now you see that y is holding the value 10. so what happened here is this i use this kind of short form of writing y equals to y plus 5 as we've written here so this particular expression we have here can also be written as y equals to y plus 5. okay so if i write this y minus equal to 2 and I print y to the screen again I see that this time y is 8 because I've subtracted 2 from our initial y which is holding the value 10 okay now I will say y x there is that is multiplied by 2 now I will print y to the screen again and I see that y is holding the value 16 because at this point you multiply 8 by 2 y divided by 2 I'll print y to the screen again and y is holding the float value 8.0 because at this point it will divide it by 2 y exponential equal to 2 now I print y to the screen again it's holding the value 64 so take your time and do 8 raised to power 2 you'll see that you give you the value 64 so y float division equal to 3 then I print y to the screen so it gives me 21.0 we discarded the decimal part of the value okay now you see that you can combine the chief assignment operator which is the equality sign with all the arithmetic operators we discussed before to perform calculations doing assignments but hey guys i have one important note to make here the increment by one and decrement by one we have in languages like Java, C Sharp, PHP does not exist. I repeat, it does not exist in Python. For example, I can do something like this Y plus plus. You know, if it's um in Java, Y plus plus means increment by one. Okay, so this is very, very wrong. If I go ahead and hit enter, it gives me an error. Syntax error, invalid syntax. So if I must increment something by 1 or decrement something by 1 like y minus minus, it doesn't exist at all. So if I must do something like this, I must write it explicitly. Something like y equals to y plus 1 or y plus equal to 1, which is the short form. So these two, they are okay, right? So if I go ahead and print y to the screen, you see that I should have um, this time I so I added one here, then I, I added another one here. Okay, so it should be something like 23.0. All right, guys, thank you for joining us in today's class. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos, and most importantly, drop your comments in any area you don't understand, you know, in the tutorial, and because we are always here to respond to your comments with the speed of light thank you once again and bye for now